The Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Welcome back, everyone. A very active day in the weather department yesterday and through the overnight. Still looking at some storms that are tracking through the valley. We've had a few warnings through the overnight hours. Widespread severe weather was not the case, but still looking at a pocket of rain containing some lightning. Not a severe storm, though. It's down in Knox County right now. Well, actually looking at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, uh, keeping it to stationary here. You can see where we have some heavy pockets of rain just moved through the city of Vincennes within the past couple of minutes. Emerson to Bicknell just again west and or east rather of Vincennes down in Knox County. The only area seeing rain out there for us this morning. We do have an ongoing flash flood warning that has been in effect all through the overnight. It will be in effect for the next few minutes or so until 545. But I do want to head back down to Knox County because it looks like the National Weather Service just issued a new severe thunderstorm warning that is going to be for Knox County. We'll put the information on here for Knox and into southern portions of Davies County. That's a severe thunderstorm warning that's been issued until 615 Eastern Time. So for the next 30 minutes or so, uh, the history with these storms that have been moving through have been mainly due to the fact that we have seen seeing some gusty winds and some small hail within this. So just keep in mind new severe thunderstorm warning for that cell that we were just talking about down in Knox County. It is tracking off to the southeast around 25 to 30 miles per hour. So it is going to be making its way into southern portions of Davies County here. That's the latest information coming in from the National Weather Service. We do have an ongoing severe thunderstorm watch for all of our Indiana counties that is south of I-70 until 8 o'clock this morning. Southern portions of our Illinois Illinois counties until 7 o'clock central time. We have an ongoing flash flood watch that's in effect again for all of our Indiana locations for the next uh, few hours here as we head through our Tuesday morning. Take a look at your clouds and radar as we head through the first part of our day. You notice that this cluster of showers and storms moved on through. Temperatures have stayed very warm through the overnight 74 in Terre Haute, 73 in Robinson and 78 in Linton. Check this out though. We still have this cold front that's still to our north. This boundary is potentially going to spark off a stray shower or storm looking ahead at this afternoon. There is still a chance that we could see a stronger storm heading into the afternoon hours today. The heat, the energy still available for us, but I'm not expecting the widespread severe weather, perhaps an isolated severe storm or two. So beginning future cast at six o'clock this morning. Notice that we start to clear things back out for us. Looking ahead at today, clouds return by one o'clock and then there's that chance that we could see that stray shower or two four o'clock this afternoon and then heading into the evening tonight. We keep a slight chance of a stray shower lingering, but other than that, we do look to stay mainly dry again. Still hot and humid. Check out these temperatures. We'll go from 73 at 8 a.m. back to 88 by noon, topping out near 94 today. But winds are going to shift once that cold front moves on through. Eventually going to be coming in out of the north, so feeling more comfortable by the overnight tonight. Forecast highs today, 90 in Terre Haute, 92 in Robinson, and 93 in Vincennes. Heading through the overnight tonight, this is when we really start to improve our conditions. We dry things out. Wednesday will be dry, cooler highs in the lower 80s, and we keep conditions dry even as we head through our Thursday as a few more clouds roll back in. We stay dry through the rest of the week, and then it starts to heat back up by Friday, so a couple of comfortable days Wednesday and Thursday. So forecast for today, partly cloudy and just going to be hot out there with a chance of afternoon storms. But keep in mind, we still have a few of those storms moving through out there early this morning. Seven day forecast shows us that again, a 20% chance of rain in store for today and lasting through the overnight, starting to dry things back up. By the end of the week, we finally start to see those temperatures returning to near a summer like weather. 90s as we head through Friday into next weekend. Just a quick revisit of where we're looking at that new severe thunderstorm warning that was issued down in Knox County. It will be in effect until 615 for Southern Knox and Davies counties. We'll check back in with the Weather Service and of course bring you updates through the entire course of this newscast.